Hey you guys, Recon here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some awesome traps you can make in Minecraft 1.3. As you can see here, Minecraft traps for 1.3. Uh, first off, I'm going to show you guys how the traps work. I'm going to go through this whole entire series of traps that I just made. And at the end of the video, I will show you guys how to make them and explain... Well, not how to make them, because that would take forever. But explain to you the basic mechanics of how it works. So I set my spawn here. Uh, let's do that real fast. And I want to show you guys the first trap. So over here on our left is called the Bridge of No Return. Dun 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 dun! Sounds very ominous, doesn't it? So, as you can see, the basic wood bridge. Very, very nice. Uh, oh, and I'm using uh, an HD texture pack just so you guys let, just to let you guys know since it's really, really cool. The gravel hasn't changed yet for 1.3, but anyways. So, the trap, all you need to do is you walk, and if someone's not expecting it, whoa! And they die. <laughs> uh, it's a very simple trap. Um, basically, you're going to have wood slabs, wood, and also wooden pressure plates. So, everything wood, so it blends in together. And the reason for the wood slabs is that it's, easy, it's easier to hide um, these two pressure pads here. Uh, instead of just having it like this where you look directly down you actually see the pressure pad so see it's more noticeable if you're up here but if you're going down a decline you don't expect it to be there so basically it's hooked up to get this out of the way it's hooked up no, it's, this one. Oh, there you go it's hooked up to um, a block with redstone underneath it so there's redstone underneath this and it's going to go into this inverter. This inverter is going to go over here, go into this repeater, and then it's going to power this. So I put this back. There you go. It's going to power that, and then all these are going to be extended. So all these are sticky pistons. And why am I showing you guys this now? I'm going to do that at the end of the video. <laughs> I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay, next one. Sorry, I just wasted like a bunch of time. Next one is called The Cake is a Lie. It's a pyramid that I just made, and basically what you do is, if you come in here, is anybody going to see me steal this cake? Eat it. If I, if, if I could eat it. Uh, if I break it... <laughs> oh god. It goes you in. And then the walls. Oh god! Oh my god! Oh god! Oh god! And you get crushed to death, basically. Oh god. Between two very, very strong pistons. Dying. And dead. Suffocated in a wall. Yep. So that noise is gonna go on for a while. And as you can see, um, when I turn behind me, the door actually sealed itself, and if you try to break through this, you can't because there's a big pillar of sand that will just keep getting in your way, and then when you finally get done, it will probably suffocate you. So let me go back here and stop this from... There you go. That's better. Bloop, bloop, bloop. So that's The Cake is a Lie. It's basically um, a Star Wars thing where the two walls come and they crush you to death. So that's good. Next one is the pit. It's a very simple tra trap. Uh, basically, free diamonds here. Not really. It's just a dispenser. It's fake. But, um, yeah. So, if you press this button, this is what's gonna happen. Oh god. Oh god. I can't. What? I can't get out. Oh god. Is that lava? Oh my god, that's lava! Oh, <laughs> And basically, it's a pit that just kind of sinks under you. Um, yeah, and then it fills up with lava, and so you die. Very sad. Very sad for you indeed. Oh well. <laughs> okay. So that's that trap. The next one's called Nether Security. So, let's say uh, you're on a server, people are uh, messing around, and someone builds a portal next to your portal, and they don't know it, and they go through it, and then they're in your base. This is how to protect your portal. So, regular portal, let's say you're in the nether right now, and when I cross this portal, you, you'll be in the real world. If you go through... Ah! 
that happens. <laughs> oh god. Jesus, that almost hit me. As you can see, it's a very, very deadly trap. Oh, that's gonna get loud. Okay. So basically, when you go uh, through, you hit trip wires. And I'm just gonna leave it at that, and I'll explain to you guys a little bit more later. Okay, this one, I didn't put it signed on because I forgot, but it's basically uh, a booby trap that gives you instant damage. So if you walk through, um, it would be better if this was sealed off or uh, something so you, it's harder for them to see the pressure pad, but the basic idea is if they walk on the pressure pad, they get poisoned. Ow, 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 ow. And yeah, there's dispensers on the, the other side of the wall, and since it hits you at head level, you get most of the effect. Ow, 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 ow. This one won't kill you, but it's more like a, uh, an annoyance. Okay. Whew. Ugh, poison in my face. Poison in my face. Okay, so the next one is called the dupe nub. The nub detector, if you're a nub. And basically, it says free stuff up there, and basically, you can see all the wiring. <laughs> So, redstone, 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 all the way to the top to a dispenser. And if you press this button, it will turn this off, turn that on, and then it will repeat itself, and then it will turn on that dispenser and give you free stuff, right? That, nothing can go wrong, can it? <gasps> Something! Oh god! What is this? And yeah, so that's that one. You die. That's it. You die. And again, I'll and you get a rose. Basically, I put a, um, some flowers in that dispenser just to ease the pain. But I'll explain it to you guys later on in the video. Okay, bait box. So, this one is fairly simple again. It's gonna use the wood slabs and stuff. And again, it's very noticeable. So if you wanna change it, use those slabs like I did to do it, then by all means, go ahead. But this is just the basic uh, stupid flower. <laughs> this is like the basic uh, mechanism for it. What you do is you walk through, and they get trapped. And if you use, yeah, they get trapped. I hmm. apparently they fixed it, so now it's easier to break wood slabs with your hand. That's weird. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's basically it. If you want to replace this with stone and turn that to a stone pressure pad, that would be even better because then they can't break out. Okay. Next one is. Uh, the watch your step thing. It's broken. Yeah, you can see it's broken. I spent a lot of time on this, and it broke. Apparently, uh, when lava hits redstone, it activates a redstone, and then my butt switches just die. Okay, uh, I'll try to explain this one, the basic principle of it, even though it's not working later on. This one's fairly simple, again. So basically, if you're going down a hallway and you come through these two doors, you can't can't open them because there are iron doors. So there's a switch right here. So you're thinking that you open the switch and you go through. Not really. That's not what happens at all. Oh god. Oh god. And this one's more fun because basically when they fall into cobweb, there's no way for them to get out. There's nothing they can do. They try to break it, they burn the lava. Ow. So this is like a slow death thing. This is just for like fun. This is just, uh, <laughs> this just tortures them basically. Just watch, and you know you're gonna die, and there's nothing you can do. It's so funny. Go, 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 go. And so yeah, that, that this is my favorite one because it just makes it just makes it painful to watch. It makes it painful for them to watch themselves burn to death. Uh, okay, so if I actually need a pickaxe for this one, so. Uh, this one's called Fool's Diamond, so it's supposed to be like Fool's Gold, but I forgot that I would have used a gold block, but I forgot. So basically what you do is, when you mine this, people if you put this in a cave, people aren't going to expect anything. You're going to be like, oh, diamonds, I found one! And then, so they're going to mine it. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I want the diamonds, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, you get shot by a lot of arrows that are on fire. Yay! That's that's the price you get for stealing someone's diamonds. Even though it might not have been theirs, we just found it there. Still going. Oh, whoops! 
wrong wire. What? Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, silly me, silly me. Silly goose. Yeah, so you get shot by a lot of arrows. That right there has been almost two stacks. And they all catch on fire too. And the bad thing is, you can't even reach the diamonds. Well, you could if you... No, oh, you can't. Heh, <laughs> lol. Anyways, so that's that one. Um, next one's the Creeper Hall. And I did this kind of green mossy cobble because it reminds me of creepers and scary stuff. So you walk through this. Oop. Ah, I ruined it. It's supposed to be on normal. So if I walk through it, creepers, creepers, creepers. Ugh. <laughs> so that's what that one. Uh, pressure pads, creepers, and small hallways don't work well together. So if you want to have fun with your friend and blow him up, make him freak out. Oh, there's two holes where the creepers were. Uh, that's the thing that you want to do. Okay, this one's called the cooker, and basically what you want to do is cook. So let me get some stuff. So I can cook, um, let's do a sapling, and what should we cook, let's cook some gold. Okay, you put that there. But what was that? What was that noise? I heard something. Ah, uh, it can't be anything. Yeah, and basically it could, uh, freak someone out because the TNT doesn't actually hurt them. This one's more of a prank, kind of. Uh, it doesn't do any damage. Because the TNT is under here and it's going to be pushed by the lava, so all that's going to happen. Stupid slime. All that's going to happen is it's going to make a really loud noise and the hissing sound. So people are going, if they do this, they're going to freak out and just start running, which is kind of funny. And here is another one. This one will, might work, might not work. I haven't tested it fully out yet. But if I get myself that pickaxe that I threw on the ground, because I threw it on the ground. <laughs> Okay, so this is bank security. So let's say you have an emerald block. And you put it there for showcase. If someone tries to get it, if some, if a griefer comes in, it's like, ooh, uh, emerald block, I'm gonna steal it from you. You're not gonna notice because I'm gonna run away. You'll never catch me. They break it. Oh god. Ah, ah, ah. And they're gonna be stuck in here. Uh, and, I, and they can't get out, and yeah, it's very loud. <laughs> it's gonna annoy them. So yeah, well, unless they break it, but this is more of like a role-playing thing if you want. And so yeah, that's pretty cool. And we break this. It's getting annoying. And yeah, that's basically it for. Oh my God, so many slimes. For all the traps, and now I'm gonna cut and show you guys the fundamentals of them. I was planning on making more, but tiny constraints, you know? Uh, so, yeah, I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, and we're back. So, this time I'm gonna show you guys how these traps work. And this one I kinda already explained, but when they walk on this pressure pad, the floor opens, and they fall and they die. That's basically it. Um, the wiring for it's very simple. Basically, all you have is under there, that was the pressure pad, there's redstone. The redstone hooks up to two inverters on each side. The inverters then go into a block, so it's going to send power to that block. The block is then going to send power to this redstone. It's going to go into the repeater so it can travel all the way across and power up all of these pistons. And all these pistons are going to be slimed. Yeah, I killed your friends. I killed your mother and your father for my invention. How you feel about that, bro? And uh, it's gonna contract all of those. And it doesn't matter if you go on one pressure pad or two, or just like put a block there. It's gonna power both of them since they're both hooked up together. And you just fall to whatever you want. You want if you want a lava pit, put lava under it. If you want just a drop kill, you can put a drop in it. Uh, or if you're in uh, creative, you can just put uh, cobwebs there and just annoy people. And so, let me turn these slimes off. Jesus, they are annoying. Look at that guy. He was just all up in my pyramid business. Okay, the next one is the cake is a lie. And I showed you guys this one, and basically it crushes you. So, what this is, is it's going to be a cake. It's going to be hooked up to a... Uh, sorry, my mic's really close to my mouth. It's going to be hooked up to a butt switch. Well, let me show you guys that. 
And if you guys don't know what bud switches are, I suggest you guys go to Ethos channel. He is like my, uh, my my favorite YouTuber. I don't know. I I have like uh, non hobo, not hobo, non homo love against him. Uh, so uh, bud switch is gonna be hooked up here. Uh, so when the block updates, if you either eat it or destroy it, this is gonna extend. It's gonna power. It's gonna um unpower this, yeah, it's gonna unpower it, and that would mean this is gonna retract, and this uh, sand pillar right here is gonna fall down and stop you from leaving, and if you try to break it, more sand will fall and you can't get out of it. Okay, then it's gonna also go, um, where is it, I'm trying to find the wires, Do -do -do. if I can find it, okay. So it's going to connect to this piston. This piston, uh, when this is going to be off, when the butt switch activate, when the butt switch activates, it's going to retract that, and then the redstone here, that repeater, is going to be uh, powering this redstone. And the repeater is also hooked up to a clock, so that's why the pistons keep contracting and pushing out blocks and eventually cut, crushing you. So this is connected over here. It's going to bring it all the way across into an inverter which is going to be powering um, a series of two high piston walls and that's going to be powered with all these uh, torches. This one's a more complicated one so if you guys don't want to uh, watch this you can skip ahead if you want. And this one's going to do the same thing and basically when that powers all these are going to push out and then retract, sand's going to fall down, they're going to push out again, retract, sand's going to fall down, push down, push out and retract and it, the walls are going to get closer and closer and closer until they eventually crush you and that's basically the fundamental of it so if I show you guys real fast break that see that door closes and then these keep pushing in yep and then these just keep pushing you back and forth basically uh, so you can't break blocks to escape okay so that's done uh, Oh god. Uh, break that. There you go. Okay, this one is a very simple one. Very, very simple. Basically, under here is. What? Huh? Okay. I was one off. Okay, under here is gonna be a bunch of signs, and they're all hooked up to this one sign. So if you put one sign here, and you keep putting signs on that sign in the corner this way, and then all the other signs against uh, the sign on that block this way so they're connecting as you can see right here like this if you just move if you just break this one sign all of these are going to break so um, the button uh, was above this would have which had lava in it which kills you uh, and then it's going to power this torch which is going to be an inverter inverts the current this is going to retract this block is going to break, the sign is going to fall out because it's attached to that block, and all the other signs are going to fall out. This sand pit is going to fall, you're going to take some fall damage, but that's not what's going to kill you. The lava is going to kill you because you have not enough time to actually build your way up unless you had already had blocks with you, and you're just going to die, basically. That's, that's, some, that's, a, that's a part of it that you don't want. Okay, so this one. This one was also really... Uh, sound. This one was a little bit more complicated, not as complicated as that, but fairly complicated as you can see all the redstone behind here. Um, basically, when you go and let me go into this without, there you go. Okay, there are trip wires here, right? And they're floating in midair, and how you can do this is if you get string, put it on the ground, and you put it on the ground again, you're gonna have one floating, you can break this one, and this one will keep floating, you put uh, the trip wires right there, like that. So, if I can, uh, I'm gonna need shears, because I'm not gonna be able to get out of here without dying. Uh, you can find the shears. Shears, where are you? Shears, shears! Okay. Break that, and then that's good. Okay, so basically, um, the side. This is hooked up to the the blah, 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 the trip wire. There you go. That's the word. 
it's gonna send a pulse up, this is gonna be inverted, and then it's gonna power this memory cell. When the memory cell gets powered, it's gonna switch this current over to this current, and it's gonna stay that way until it gets powered from this side again. And when that happens, this is gonna be hooked up to these lights, which I just did for aesthetic value. So when you do the tripwires, the lights go off, and it's kinda of scary. But um, it's gonna go up to a repeater, the repeater is going to bring the redstone all the way down. That, yeah, the repeater is going to bring the redstone all the way down until into this uh, very fast pulsar. And if you guys don't know, let me get some redstone ready. The pulsar it pulses really fast redstone, and so that's it. And I set off the, the trap already. Um, and so that's going to hook up to all these pistons, uh, not pistons, just, uh, I, I don't know my words today, I'm sorry. All these dispensers, and the dispenser is going to shoot out mag, uh, no. Dispenser is going to shoot out fire charges, which when shot out like a dispenser, it's going to be like um, a blaze ball. And these levers are up here, so it keeps constant power, so that makes it even faster with these. So, um... Yeah, that's basically it. And then up here, it's going to link off to another set of, uh, another circuit. And that's going to power these pistons down here. These pistons are already on, and there's an inverter. Well, you know, the inverter's already right there. But it's going to pull down all these blocks, revealing the dispensers, and then shooting you to death. So... If I can replicate that real fast, and you can also put them sideways like this. I replicate them. Watch the lights. They turn off, and then you get blasted by so many fireballs. You can't escape this. You fly up, and then you get down. You fly up again, and you get hurt, and then you get on fire, and there's no way of escaping this. It's just mayhem because first you get fire damage, and second you get impact damage from the actual blaze uh, fire charges. And so, yeah, that's a really fun one to up your security system very, very well. Um, did I... Oh yeah, this one was the one that didn't have um, a name. So this one's filled with some instant damage potions, some poison potions, and some weakness potion. And basically, you can hook up as many of you want as you want. You can make this whole hallway it's just a bunch of poison and damage and stuff. And when they hit this pressure pad, it's gonna hit the wall, and it's gonna give them that because it's gonna give it uh, mostly a full effect because it's gonna be head level. And the problem is, if you guys notice, uh, if you don't know this already, let's say rest regeneration two. It doesn't last for a minute. If oops. Drinking it is the best option, but uh, if you throw it on the ground, that, that says 130, right? If you throw it on the ground at your feet, it only gives you like uh, 115. But if you throw it at your head, uh, that doesn't work because I already have it activated. Yeah. But if you throw it at your head, it'll give you um, the full effect. So the closer it is to your head, the better the effect. And basically, the wiring for this is it had um, redstone here, which was connected to the pressure pad. There was an inverter here, and that's going to go up to this block. This block is then powered again by another inverter, and that's going to power these two redstone. That I said that really weird. It's going to power these two redstone, and then. Uh, that torch powers that block, so you don't have to worry about that, and it's going to power all three of these at the same time. Bleh. My mouth is getting sore from talking. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Okay. This is the noob detector one. Now, I'm going to set the time day. Oop. Time set day. There you go. So this one, very simple. Uh, this, I'm not going to explain that because that's really basic. In here is an inverter, which is going to power a piston. Yep, really fast too. And so it's only a split second of fall, but it's enough to get you all the way down. And when you're down here, you hit a pressure pad that's going to activate this 
one dispenser. I had other stuff in here, but I didn't need it. This one dispenser with a lava bucket, and it's going to burn you to death. And when you're dead, um, it's going to turn itself off, which is pretty neat. So you don't have to reset this one. And that's basically it for that one. This one's uh, bait box, very simple. Underneath is pressure pad, redstone connected to two pistons pushing up. I don't even need to explain. Okay, this one. This one, I hate this one. Okay, what my idea was. See the redstone floor? When that red, when you step on it, it lights up. So that's the block update. I've hooked up two butt switches, like this, and I put them on the redstone. So if you cross redstone, it's, this is gonna happen. There's gonna be, there was, all these had lava buckets in them. So when the uh, block update occurred, it would deploy the um, lava. But apparently, grass grew, so uh, anything next to the piston will cause a block update. So when the grass grew uh, from the day and night cycles, it activated it and now it's dead. So if, yeah, so basically it was a room of emeralds and you walk through it trying to get it and then you get trapped between two rows of lava, three blocks apart, and you get trapped in there until they slowly flow in and then kill you. That was a really fun one, but it didn't work. But that's basically how it worked. Uh, how was it supposed to work? This one, very simple. Um, yeah. So it powers this, powers all those pistons, goes down here, powers all these pistons. The reason why the door doesn't open is because I put a redstone torch here, and that's gonna constantly keep it on power, and it will never open with a switch next to it. Yeah. And I didn't put it on this side because there was no need to because there wasn't a lever on that side. It's more for aesthetics. So when they uh, flip it open, they're going to fall into cobweb and they're going to slowly sink down until they burn to death. And that's that's why I thought that one was fun. Okay, this one is the Fool's Diamond. And if you break this block, let me show you guys in the back, it has a redstone torch. This redstone torch powers this so it turns off this... Um, really fast po pulser, this rapid pulser. The rapid pulser, uh, when the block is like that, the rapid pulser will deploy, it will shoot a bunch of arrows. As you can see, there's a lever on this side, so it will shoot this fast. And it's gonna be on fire because it's going through lava. And so that's basically what happens. There you go, and you can reset it just like that by putting that redstone torch back. Okay, Creeper Hall. This one's fun. This one I like. Uh, every time. There you go. You get two creepers in the ground. Uh, but if you're in survival mode, they'll pop out and they'll start tracking you and coming towards you. So what happens here is, on each side, there's a dispenser with a creeper egg. And that's just hooked up to the pressure pad. And it's down here because when the creeper deploys, it deploys one block up. So its head's always going to be above the ground, so it won't ever suffocate. And the same goes for that one. So if I do this, they're going to just keep popping out. And yeah, whoa! That freaked me out. Yeah, and you can see he just popped out on his own. Um, yeah, lots of creepers. Okay, the cooker. This one's the prank one. So, again, hooked up to a bud switch. Again, if you don't know what it is, check out Etho. He's a really cool guy. I really admire him for his uh, work and redstone abilities. And that's why I have started this channel, because of him. And so, if you... Under here is TNT. As you can see, I block updated that, and the TNT lit. And that hurt because there was no block above it that time. What the heck? What's going on? What the? What? What? What black magic are you? <laughs> what black magic are you? <laughs> oh my god, that was weird. Oh, they're walking on their own pressure pad and making more. Oh, those geniuses. And so the bud update switch um, updates the block. It sends the pulse down here and it's going to activate the TNT. And it's going to work also when you put stuff in the furnace, because when the furnace is lit, it's going to block update. You, get out of here. Yeah, bitch. Okay, there we go. 
This one, I really like this one. This one's really fun to make. Uh, bank security. Basically, my idea was, um, do you know how they seal these guys sometimes in with that cage? Well, not like from first-hand experience. Oop, I bumped the mic. Not from like first-hand experience or anything, but like those cool movies where like the uh, ceiling, like there's a hidden gate in the ceiling and it slowly goes down like a door. This was the idea for that. So up here, I have a timer, which is gonna, uh, which is hooked up here to this one, which is gonna push out the sand that's gonna come down and it's gonna push these iron bars into this one. And they're on uh, opposite circuits, so when that one's uh, deployed, this one won't be, and when this one's deployed, that one won't be, so they won't uh, break each other. And so when that pushes uh, the iron bars through, this one's gonna come up, and it's gonna push it down, and then basically it's gonna seal you off. And the sand's here to provide the blocks for pushing. And on the other side, another block update switch. I really like block update switches, as you can get, as you guys can see. But basically, if this is off, so let's turn this off. This is what's gonna happen. See, it, the sand's gonna fall. It's gonna push the sand, and then that one's gonna push the iron bars down. And then when it's done, it can't go any farther. And then on the inside, this is what you have. Pretty nifty, pretty nifty, and you get trapped if you try to steal that. So yeah, that's basically it, you guys. Um, tell me what you think about this. Uh, I'll try to get more uh, traps in if you guys really like this video. And I'll try to make some tutorials if you guys want to know which ones to make. So just tell me, I gave some names, uh, except for this one. This one's really easy, so I don't think a lot of you guys would want to know that one. But you have the names here, so... Bridge of No Return, The Cake is a Lie, uh, The Pit, Nether Security System, No Name One, Noob Detector, Bait Box, uh, Watch Your Step, this one I might not do, it's kind of complicated, it's very complicated, um, did I, wow, I didn't even do, okay, this one's going to be called, um, if I can find the signs, uh, I'll just go about door. Just remember that one. It's door. Okay, diamonds, a uh, fool's diamond, creeper hall, the cooker, or bank security. So if you guys want another re video response to this one to see how to make one of these uh, contraptions from scratch, then I will gladly show you guys. If you like the video, uh, leave a like if you want, subscribe maybe, and tell me what you think. If I should do more of this or not. And yeah, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you guys uh, some other time. Maybe another trap video if you guys really like this one. So I bid you all good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Laters. Adios.